What's cooking guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm making my spicy salmon tikka. It's marinated in those classic Indian and Pakistani spices like cumin, coriander, chili powder, and then it is cooked to a caramelized golden brown perfection. So stay tuned for the recipe. If you're new here and you'd like to join the foodie family, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you are notified every time I upload once a week. And now let's get cooking. So I'm gonna start by marinating my salmon first. And for the salmon, I have about a little more than one pound of salmon. And I cut it into these bite-sized chunks. So I'm gonna start with four cloves of garlic that I have finely minced. You can also use garlic powder instead. I have one teaspoon of onion powder. I have one teaspoon of black pepper, but you can use it to your taste. And I have one teaspoon of fresh ginger paste. I also have some red chili flakes and I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of this, but you can use it to your taste. Then I have some ground turmeric powder and I'm only going to use about between quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon um, because I don't want that overpowered turmeric flavor, just a little hint. Then I have some ground coriander powder and I'm gonna use between half to one teaspoon of it. Then I have some ground cumin powder. Then I have some chili powder and because I want these salmon tikkas to be a little more on the spicier side, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of it. Then I have some cinnamon and although I'm not a cinnamon fan, uh, cinnamon in these salmon tikkas tastes really good. It just adds like a little hint of sweetness which I really really love. Then I have some smoked paprika and this is optional guys. And then I'm using some garam masala, just like half a teaspoon or even less than half a teaspoon. And if you can't find garam masala in your local store, then you can just use some allspice instead. Then I'm using salt, of course, to my taste. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon or a little bit more than a teaspoon, but of course, add the salt to your taste. And then I have half of a lemon that I have deseeded and I'm just going to squeeze all of the juice in the marination for the salmon tikka. Then I have some extra virgin olive oil and I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of it. And then I put some gloves on just so that the colors of those spices don't go in my fingernails or just stain my fingers. Um, and you just want to rub all of those beautiful spices with the lemon juice and the olive oil all over your salmon chunks. And because I added lemon juice to this, I'm only going to marinate this for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes only. If I marinate it for any longer, the acid in the lemon juice is going to start preserving the fish. So just be mindful of that. And now you can cover this and just marinate it for between 15 to 20 minutes. And after 15 to 20 minutes, my beautiful salmon chunks have been marinated and now it's time to cook them. In a pan here, I've already added a few tablespoons of olive oil, but if you don't wanna add any oil to cook these, you don't have to because as you saw, I put some oil in the marination and I was heating up that oil for just like a minute or so. And once it's really hot, you want to start adding your marinated salmon chunks in there. And because it's salmon, it's only gonna take about two to three minutes on each side. And pretty much once they turn a nice goldeny brown color on each side, you want to turn these over and cook the other side as well. So these cook in no time, guys. They literally cook in maybe five to six minutes total. And as you can see, that golden brown color is so beautiful. And then you can still see the spices on there. You see the chili powder the cumin powder, and all those other lovely spices that we added. And once, as you can see, they are golden brown on both sides, I'm just going to take them out on a plate. You can line the plate with a paper towel, but I'm not gonna be doing that because I don't want the paper towel to absorb all those beautiful 
juices that salmon usually has and all those good fats that are actually very good for you for your heart health and for your brain health so that was my first batch and i'm going to cook the second batch and cook the rest of the salmon thickas as i did the first batch And I'm just going to show you how I would plate them typically and look at that beautiful golden brown color and you can still see those beautiful spices I added earlier in the marination and I'm just taking these pieces and putting it in a little serving bowl and look at that juicy salmon piece because these cook so quickly they still retain all that juiciness that salmon usually has. And you can eat these as an appetizer or even as a meal with a favorite side of yours or with some rice or naan. But I would typically serve them as an appetizer because they're nice little bite-sized chunks and they're perfect for appetizers or a starter. And to finish off the presentation, I'm just going to be using some lemon wedges to serve with the salmon pieces. And because the marinade has a little more spice than usual, the lemon really just offsets all those spices and adds a little tangy flavor, which adds a perfect balance for those spicy salmon tikkas. And here are my spicy salmon tikkas that you can have as an appetizer or a starter. If you do eat this as a meal or like a dinner meal or a lunch meal, then I would say to use salmon fillets and just use the same marination that I showed you earlier. And these are just perfect little bites of that juicy, spicy salmon. If you're not a salmon person or a fish person, you can use shrimp instead as I've shown in a previous video from a few months ago. I will link that video in the description box for you guys. Or you can use chicken or other types of meat of your preference and it will still turn out good because the magic is in that spicy marinade I made. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed my spicy salmon thicka recipe. This recipe is great for anybody who does not like to be in the kitchen for too long but still wants to eat like an exotic meal. It cooks so fast and you only have to marinate it for like 15 to 20 minutes. So in under 30 minutes you can have the salmon thicka prepared and also sides of your choice. It goes great with naan or even some white rice or you can have it with one of your favorite sides, whatever you'd like. So it's such a versatile recipe and I really hope you do try it out. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe before leaving. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves. <music>